In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate the steps to plot some data from a file. This corresponds to the homework assignment in ME120 to plot weather data. Here's the weather data file that we downloaded. I double click to open Excel. First column is date time, and if we expand the column width, we'll see that it contains uh, the date format and time in hours, minutes. The first, uh, the second column rather, is the relative time. That's relative to midnight. T in is indoor temperature. T out is outdoor temperature. R H is relative humidity in percent, and P atmosphere is in uh, Pascal units, hectopascals. The assignment is to plot T out versus T rel, and also the difference between T out and T in versus T rel. So we'll start with the first one, which is to plot T out. Now we notice that the data file has many rows, 288 to be exact. And in order to, to work more conveniently with this, we're going to take advantage of Excel's ability to split the screen. Um, Microsoft has a habit of changing their interface with every revision. So the new version, at least the one I'm using right here, requires you to go to view and click this split function here. If I do that, I will uh, split the screen four ways. Uh, I just want to split the screen two ways. So I'm just going to come in here at an arbitrary row, select the entire row, click split, and now I have a splitter that I can drag and it allows me to scroll the bottom half of the screen and the top half of the screen independently. That is a bit more convenient. Go back to the home view. The next task is then to just create the plot, and there's many ways to do that. I'll show you, uh, the simple way would be to select the data, T rel versus T out, go to insert scatter plot, and immediately we get a plot. This one happens to be in the bottom half of the screen. I'll cut and paste it into the top half for convenience, and drag my splitter down. Um, this gives us T rel in the first column ver and T in and T out. I can simply delete the T in column. So I select this blue curve. I happen to, when I hover over it, I see that it's called T in. And we don't want that. We just want T out. I can simply delete it. And that takes care of that. A few more steps are necessary here to clean this up. Uh, we've got a legend, which really doesn't help us. I'm going to delete that. And a title, which really doesn't help us. And I'm going to click on the Add button here. And that allows me to add chart elements. Uh, many ways to do this. I could add chart elements here, such as axis titles, which is good. I'm going to click away from this. And instead, um, if I click on the plot, I have the option of using these design tools here and changing the formatting. So if I go back to design, I can also add a chart element here, such as the axis titles. I can add a horizontal axis title and a vertical axis title. So I can do it with this drop-down menu from the chart design tab, or I can come over to this little plus sign and add axis titles this way. We'll take that just to get it done with. Double click in the axis title box, and now I can change this to time in hours from midnight. And over here, I type, click in this box, and I type in T out, whoops, T out, degree C. Now, it's not showing up, but it's showing up in the menu bar. If I click OK, it changes it. We're almost done. If I click on the numbers here, I can format the axis from this uh, menu over here, which I can also see by um, clicking Format Axis down here with the right mouse button. So I've selected this, and I simply come in here and change the maximum value to 24. And uh, the units here, let's make it uh, six increments and a unit, a minor unit of one. So that's pretty much it. We have a plot now. The scatter plot shows each value from this, each row here is a corresponding time and temperature value, and it's a single dot. I don't need to connect these dots with lines. There's lots of dots. So we could call this good. 
the next step. So I would uh, then I can copy this into um, Microsoft Word with a copy command. There are other ways to do that. Um, I'm going to create the second plot. And the second plot, the requirement was to plot the temperature difference, T out minus T in. I'm going to leave this plot here. In order to uh, create the second plot, I need more data. And so I'm going to insert a column here. I select this whole column from the Home tab, click Insert. Now I can type in at the header T out minus T in. You see, this is simply a label. And now I put in a formula equals T out minus T in. Now I want to repeat this formula through the entire range of the column here. I can do this a couple ways. I can grab a hold of this and drag it down, or I could simply say click here and then hold down the shift key. Shift click allows me to extend the selection and then come over to the fill down. And that takes the um, formula in the first cell and fills it into the rest of the selection. You can fill across, fill down. So. I now have data, and I want to plot TREL versus TNT out. So I'll be my I'll be lazy again and select the whole thing, click Insert Scatter Plot, and that will generate a plot of all the columns, and I just delete the ones I don't want. Another way to do that is to, and I'm going to work with the bottom half here just to have some space. Another way to do that is to simply say I've got an empty chart, so I'm. I'm not selecting any cells. I'm out in the middle of an empty cell here, and I just insert a scatter plot. Now, this scatter plot is empty. It's just an alternative way to go. From the Chart Tools tab, the Design sub-tab, I can then select Data, and I can click TREL. And again, I can select all the way down to T out, Shift Select. And that, I just say OK. And I get the same effect as if I had selected all of these first and then clicked Insert Chart. So I'm just going to delete the ones I don't want. And we're left with the temperature difference T out minus T in. There's some noise here due to the variations in indoor and outdoor temperature, but this is actually reasonable data. So we have to repeat our steps to add chart axes. Click here. I'm sorry, add axes titles. Uh, and I will add here time since midnight. Midnight in hours. And here I'm going to add T out, uh, T out minus T, T in, BC. And we've got a little bit of a problem here in that our axis goes through zero. So we could we could fix that. The first thing we want to do, though, is change the range of the data. In other words, the range of the axis from zero to just 24, as we did before. So we have format axis. If we click over here on the data, so there's uh, fill types, shapes for the individual um, elements, alignment questions, but over here, we can click and expand axis options. We set our maximum once again to 24, our major tick marks to 6, and our minor tick marks to 1. And then we can uh, change where this axis crosses. That's the next step. So vertical axis crosses automatically. So the vertical axis is this T out minus T, and it crosses at 0. We want to not change where the vertical axis cross. We want to change where the horizontal axis crosses. So to do that, I first need to select the vertical axis and then find the crossing of the horizontal axis. So I'm going to have it cross at, let's say, minus 5. So this allows us to keep the labels far away from uh, the data and the we have a little misalignment here. I'm going to set the minimum at minus 5. And our maximum, we should go to 12. Our major and minor units, maybe 2 and 0.5. We're not showing axis at the minor units, so it's, it's uh, not a problem. 
So this is pretty much our plot. We can change the color of the symbols and whatnot and the types, but at this point, uh, let's call this good. We should certainly, uh, we've been working in this CSV format, we should certainly save this as an Excel document in our current folder and change from CSV type to Excel workbook. Now it's in Excel format and I hit save. So that's it.